There you go. Hi. Here are the gifts. Thank you. I'm sorry we're not going to be able to stay, though. You're skipping out on the Christmas party? Well, Lulu has a party at her dance class. Daddy might come. Honey, Daddy's not going to be there. Remember, Daddy said goodbye to you? And he's a long way off. Remember I, I showed you on the map? You know where Luke is? Close enough. Oh. Santa might bring Ken. No, honey, I don't think Daddy's going to be with us this Christmas, but we're going to have a good one anyway, I promise. You oh. know, I bet Scotty would never bail out on Christmas. Bye, Amy. Come on, sweetie, let's go to the party. It's going to be fun. He's had better days, but uh, I'm not giving up. No, of course not. And Sonny won't either. Sonny's very strong. Yeah, he is. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not really scared. I know he's going to be all right. Carly, it's okay to be scared. Yeah? Well, what happens if he feels it and it shuts him down? I mean, I know that I'm supposed to be calm and focused. It's just not who I am at all. <laughs> you know what? Sonny loves you the way you are. And you love him. All you have to do is let him feel that. Because that's all he needs right now. You're welcome. Is there anything you need? No, oh, good, but thank you. Okay, well, call me if that changes. Laura. Yes. Thanks. Again. You're welcome. Yes, deception is committed to an earth-friendly product. There will be absolutely no animal testing. Oh, yes, you can quote me on that. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye-bye. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I was doing a deposition downstairs, and I thought I'd see how you were doing. Well, it's been... Uh, excuse me, one second, okay? okay? Deception, good morning. Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, I think they hung up. Hmm. Oh, maybe not. Deception, good morning. Uh, yes, can you please hold? Thank you. Deception, good morning. Ah, uh, yes. Can you please hold for just one second? Thank you. All right. You know, it's been like this ever since I walked in. Well, the phones just keep ringing like crazy. Well, you're getting your wish. Deception is taken off. Yeah, well, now I know what they mean by be careful of what you wish for. Hey. Oh, another... Wait. Deception, good morning. Uh, could you please hold? Thank you. Yes, thank you very much for calling. Bye-bye. Okay, so, where were we? Marketing campaigns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we haven't even launched yet, and already we're getting this much of a phone response. Well, interest is very good. Yeah, but it's overwhelming. All I do is answer the phone. Well, you need to get yourself a Girl Friday. Here we go again. Excuse me, Laura Spencer? Yes. Ah... Uh... I'm Elton Herbert. I understand you're hiring office staff. Hey, how long you had your big ear at the door? I beg your pardon? Uh, he means, uh, how did you know that we were looking for help? Well, I ran into Nicholas Cassadine at Kelly's. He mentioned... Oh, you know my son. Well, we uh, worked on a project together. What oh. kind of project? A social event. And a mutual friend happened to mention that you were expanding your office staff. So I thought... Well, why don't you please leave me your resume and I'll uh, look it up. I'm sorry, oh, please. just give me one Allow second. Allow me. Good morning, Deception. How may I direct your call? Oh, won't you hold the wire, please? Deception, good morning. How may I help you? Oh, uh, it's Mr. Von Prague, Cosmetics International. Von Prague? Oh, yes. God, I've been trying to reach him for weeks. Oh, da, 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 da. oh, Mr. Von Prague, I'll put you through to Miss Spencer now. Make him wait just a moment. It's important not to seem too anxious. Just give her the phone. Ready? You're in control. Hello, Mr. Von Prague. 
Thank you for returning my call so quickly. What event did you and Nicholas work on together? Well, really, we had involved two prestigious Port Charles families. Name one. Why are you interrogating Mr. Herbert? Because I'm a lawyer. You got any references? What? Scotty, I'll take the interview from here. No, make sure he's got references, and I got a deposition downstairs, but I'm going to be back. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Good morning, Deception. Laura, listen, this guy seems a little odd to me. I mean, he might be dangerous. No, I can handle him. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Spencer is not available. Go ahead. Just don't do anything without consulting with me, all right? All right. Oh, yes, yes, I'll be sure and tell her you called. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, wow, your penmanship is beautiful. And I'm computer proficient. Really? What about past work experience? Uh, the truth is, Miss Spencer, I'm a defunct wedding planner. Last gainful employment, the Davis Ashton fiasco at St. Timothy's. Is that the event that you worked on with my son? Yes, I'm afraid so, in a manner of speaking. I see. Well, you know, deception is more of an ongoing process. It's not just one event. Well. I'm up to the challenge, I assure you. After all, uh, decorating, fashion, cosmetics, marketing, wedding work immerses you in it all. Good point. I do need some time to think it over, though. You know, <laughs> it's a funny thing, but the way these telephone machines keep ringing and ringing, I'm not sure you have the luxury of much thinking time, now do you? No, yes, I'm that's sorry. two in mauve right. and two in taupe. Much. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. You see, the problem is I can't make a commitment without my partner. Oh, the lawyer? Uh, no, no. Carly Corinthos. Mrs. Sonny Corinthos? With the bodyguards? That's the one. Why, she and I are practically soulmates. You know, from the wedding. Oh, she's a love. Why, she was the matron of honor. Well, then you must know what happened to her husband. Oh, I should say. Mowed down in front of the police station. Why, it's all over the media. Racketeer shot. It's devastating. Well, I'm sure she won't be back to work for a while, and I can't officially hire you without her agreement. Oh, pish. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Besides, uh, you do need help now. You're right. Maybe, maybe a trial period would be in order here, uh, contingent on Carly's return. Well... Works for me. Really? How soon could you start? Oh, let's say tomorrow. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, can we talk about hours and salary in the morning? Absolutely. I'll be here bright and early. Thank you. <laughs> oh, by the way, Miss Spencer, I just know that this is going to work for all of us. Now, listen, I got to go home and put my feet up. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'll get back to you with those figures by the end of the week. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Oh. <sighs> no more phone calls, please. Oh. How'd you get rid of that crackpot? I gave him the job. What? You gave him a job? What's the matter with you? Uh, it's only on a trial basis. Oh, that's a good... You're never gonna get rid of that guy. When are you gonna start trusting my judgment? When are you gonna start listening to me? That's how I got into this business in the first place. And you haven't listened to me since. That's not true. Now, come on. I'm not the one who told you to get into business with the Vito Corleone or his, his goofy wife. But it's working. I mean, it is. Everything's coming together beautifully. I'm, I'm actually starting to feel like... Like her. Like Laura Spencer, president and CEO. <laughs> I should say Thursday, Thursday or Friday at the very latest. Morning, yes. Oh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Yes, the decision will be made quite shortly. Oh, no, no, no. My lips are sealed, but you'll be the first to know, darling. I'll tip you off before the big announcement, okay? Yes, love you too, kiss, kiss. One of my juiciest media contacts. You were discussing the new face of deception? Oh, I'm just quietly leaking the news that you'll be choosing a new signature model soon. But I trust you were being discreet. Oh, the soul of, I should say. I'm just dropping enough breadcrumbs to keep them begging for more. Go for it. Yes. Oh, <laughs> messages, Miss Popularity. 
Oh, uh, by the by, I've taken the liberty of color coding your files. Blue for legal, uh, purple for marketing, mauve for research and development and so on. Oh, and here's your daily schedule. You know, a top executive really cannot function properly without proper organization. I couldn't agree more. Shall we? Ah. Uh. I've ordered weekly flower deliveries. Uh, uh, we'll receive a seasonal arrangement every Monday. Oh, but don't worry about it. Petty cash covers it. Well, I'll just return these phone calls then. Good. Elton. Oh, yes? Well, uh, 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 can, can I get you something? Coffee, tea, sparkling water? No, no, I'm fine. I just wanted to say welcome. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You too. Oh, Miss Spencer, your sister is here. Send her in. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't tell me that you hired somebody. Well, it just sort of happened, and he's not officially hired anyway. He's here on a trial basis. Did he say his name was Elvis? Elton. Elton oh. Herbert. And where did you find him? I mean, where'd he come from? Nicholas referred him. It seems that he was the wedding planner at Ned and Alexis's wedding, which never happened, and there was a lot of bad publicity from that, and I guess it sort of put a damper on his business, so... What does coordinating weddings have to do with cosmetics? He's incredibly efficient, Amy. This place was descending into chaos, and he just whipped it into shape. Record time! I saw him handling things in the reception area. He's good, and he gives good phone. Yeah, that's important. Mm-hmm. But there is one major problem. What? Elton is a gossip. Not really. I've seen it happen. Gossipy people can be so disruptive in a workplace. Is that so? Yeah, because you see what happens is they get so focused on their co-workers that they become very scattered at their jobs. Hmm. Well, so far Elton's been great. Um... So I guess we'll just finish out the trial period and go from there. Are you sure you want to take that chance? I'm really not worried about it, but if it makes you feel any better, I don't have any intentions of sharing my personal life with him anyway. Good. It's late. I didn't realize how late it was. I gotta go. All right, well, thanks for stopping by. It's good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> love you. I love you, too. Bye. Elton. Mm hmm? I think you should know something. Scotty Baldwin isn't just Laura's attorney. He was her first husband. So when he calls, put that call right through. Really? Uh, uh, tell me something. Who left whom? Uh, was it a good divorce or a train wreck? Oh, my gosh. That's way too much for me to tell you right now. Uh, 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 any chance of reconciliation? I'm kind of hoping so. Yes? Oh, there's such chemistry between the two of them. You should have seen them when we were trimming that Christmas tree. Really? Mm -hmm. Amy. Oh. Gotta go. <clears throat> new Hi, year. Happy New Year. <laughs> hey, how's Sunny doing? Sunny has been upgraded to stable. Oh, so, God. can I get you something? Yeah. Actually, I'm just waiting on a to-go order. What about Carly? <sighs> well, Carly is camping out at the hospital, and she's sleep-deprived, but she's uh, acting like a wife. I'm so sorry about all this. I'm sure it must have really upset you. I mean, the way it happened... Oh, yeah, my son-in-law getting shot. And I can't help thinking that it could have been Carly standing there right next to him. I know. Anyway, how's Roy? Mm. What? No, don't tell me. You didn't break up, did you? Oh, no, 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 no. We're fine like that, but... Um... Oh, okay. Can I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. Do you... Have a minute to sit with me? Sure. Hi. 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 Oh, well, it's good to see you out and about. Which means Sunny must be doing better. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. I'm right back to normal. Controlling as ever. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, I, I mean, I guess... <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, um, please tell him I said hello. I will. Okay. Oh, listen, you haven't signed Elizabeth Weber as a face of deception, have you? No, Carly. I promised you that I wouldn't make any major decisions without you, and I won't. I will wait until you are past this crisis in your life. Thank you. 
You're welcome. <laughs> well, I've got to go pick up Lulu, so I better run. But please, uh, tell Sonny that I said hello. Oh, I will. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.